What is going on everyone, Anthony here, and in this video I will be reviewing the brand new Resident Evil 4 demo titled The Chainsaw Demo and give you my first impressions. I must say that finally getting my hands on this demo was a wild ride, but I want to get into everything I liked about it. The first thing that really pulled me into this experience was the visuals and how well this thing ran on my Xbox Series X. It was buttery smooth and the RE engine is absolutely stunning, and seeing it while taking my time and taking it all in was a real treat, especially because this demo is not a one-shot, so you can really take your time and you can explore and replay to see some different things that you didn't catch the first time around, so it's worth playing more than just a few times, especially if you're a hardcore fan. The demo opens up with the opening cinematic that we are very familiar with from the original game, but this time Leon doesn't discuss the fall of Umbrella, or anything like that. But he does mention that he was being forced into being a government agent after the events of the second game, while it flashes to his past and shows his training days before becoming an agent that we see him as in this game. Showing Krauser and Leon knife fighting, which is really cool to see. I like that we see more insight to Leon becoming the badass agent that he is in Resident Evil 4. Now after the cinematic, it throws you right into Chapter 1, where Leon is waiting for the officers to come back, sitting by the parked car. And they take a little bit too long for Leon, so he investigates himself. And it takes you right to the first cabin, that we all know and remember, the scene where he talks to the Ganado, and tries to find out where Ashley is. Well in this case, he's looking for the officers. And while the Ganado just chants under his breath, Leon even tries to talk to him in Spanish, which is a nice touch, but he ignores him. And then while seeing the dead officer's badge on the floor, he tries to attack Leon from behind, and Leon parries his axe with the knife, which is a cool way to introduce the parry mechanic to the game. From the first cabin, it takes you all the way through the center of town, where the main fight we all know and love begins. The gameplay at its core feels amazing. Everything feels responsive and smooth. Combat has never felt punchier, and you can really feel the force when you roundhouse kick enemies or hit them up against walls. They can also knock down environmentals around them, which is a neat touch, and you can see how well the engine has really evolved. Parasites will randomly spawn, and if you don't stab them, well, that's going to be a problem. The parry system is also a welcomed mechanic. I think this works very well blocking enemies from all angles just at the right time it feels smooth and responsive there's also a bunch of different control styles so you can set it to how you want to play now of course the parry mechanic might take some getting used to at first but don't let it throw you off especially after a few retries and you can kind of get a feel for the crowd of enemies you can really survey them and see when you actually have to use that parry button I think the main meat and potatoes of this demo lies within the Ganados and how they act and how they attack Leon. This is just crazy in this demo. They just throw you into the mob and you are surrounded. The tension in this game is incredible. I love the fact that they up the tension. The Ganados are smarter than ever. Leon is the target. They will always try to hit you or throw you back into the mob once you try to get away. This is by far my favorite appearance of the Ganados because the tension I just felt in this demo was just incredible. And we have to talk about the Chainsaw Man, aka Dr. Salvador from the original Resident Evil 4. He is a lot more aggressive and terrifying in this, and if you miss with the parry, it ends pretty bad for Leon. The deaths are also gruesome, and I do appreciate that they made it gory just for the demo. There's a lot of blood and guts in here. I miss the head rolls, to be honest, and the whole Leon split in two isn't exactly what it sounds like, because the chainsaw goes through him and it goes up Leon's stomach, up to his head, but the impact wounds aren't really represented all the way. You don't really see Leon's head actually split in two, he just kind of pulls out the chainsaw halfway. Not to say that there won't be any more gory deaths lurking around, and I wasn't disappointed by this. I just thought, okay, maybe we'll see even more gory deaths as we go along, and obviously we only saw a little bit in this demo. Everything with the gunplay was great. I think all the weapons felt great. The handgun, the shotgun. I didn't have much problem with Leon's shaky hands that he still kind of has. It's not that distracting, and I didn't find it a problem. 
The cow environment was also very fun to use over and over again, hearing Leon's quip. Each time I kept replaying and enjoying what I could unravel in the center of town, as each time it would be cool to see what I missed the last time. I also enjoyed the bell tower falling, which we heard about before, but it was a really nice touch, and if you stand by the ladder once you climb and aim down, you have a nice advantage on the enemies climbing up, and it won't actually collapse unless you walk in the center. I also love demos that pack a little extra punch after playing it multiple times, and this demo has a hidden mode called Mad Chainsaw Mode. How to get this is random. It will basically appear on one of your playthroughs when you click start game. If it doesn't, you just have to keep backing out and jump back in until it works. It sounds silly and it's a little tedious because you only get one shot at this mode and then it's back to the main menu and then you have to start the process of loading in and loading out until it pops up again, which is a bitch. It is, however, a very fun challenge and as of this recording, I still didn't beat it on the harder mode. Enemies are faster, more invasive, and Leon takes a bunch of damage. Dr. Salvador also looks different, sporting a silver look, and it looks like his chainsaw was dipped in lava. He is a madman in this mode, and he kind of reminds me of the super chainsaw giants from the old mercenaries in the original game. Now with everything said and done, and after over 20 playthroughs as of this recording, it is safe to say that this will not disappoint fans. I think this is everything we wanted in a remake for Resident Evil, and this is how you do a remake right to make fans happy. It really has been a wild ride seeing the evolution of the recent Resident Evil games evolve and wrap themselves around the RE engine through the years. And this has great potential to be one of the best remakes of all time. Now we will just have to wait and see about two more weeks until we can sink our teeth into more of the game. And this demo made me want to see the next scene immediately. If you haven't checked this out yet, do it now. So what are your thoughts and impressions of the demo? Let your voices be heard down below in the comments. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned as the road to Resident Evil 4 Remake continues.